Welcome back to Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series Three Months of Modal Logics, a sequel to the 100 Days of Logic, and kind of a Logic 201 series. In this video we're going to be continuing with October's focus on deontic logic, looking at the omissibility of contradictions axiom. This is going to be our second axiom we're bringing into our standard deontic logic framework. So, just like in alethic modal logic, we wanted an axiom to state that all logical truths are necessary, but that doesn't really make sense for deontic logic, I would argue, though we're going to actually bring something similar into our deontic logic eventually. But for me, it doesn't really make sense to say that all logical truths are obligatory, that you have to do P or not P. It doesn't seem like this kind of thing you're supposed to do. It just seems like the kind of thing that is the case. It seems like this would make fuzzy logic immoral and have some other weird consequences. But that's not what we're going to talk about because the omissibility axiom isn't saying that we need to make logical truths obligatory. It's saying the opposite. We would never want to say that anything that is impossible is obligatory. Therefore, we should say that any contradiction is not obligatory or omissible. We're going to use our new notation that we learned for all contradictions. So what this says is it's not the case that any contradiction is obligatory. This makes complete sense because it would seem that if we obligated contradictions, then you would be forcing people to do things that they cannot do and ought to implies can, as has been famously said. So if you can't do something, it seems that it shouldn't be the case that you ought to do that thing. It seems like a fairly intuitive axiom in that way. We could also state this as it's omissible that any contradiction, because not obligatory is just the same as omissible. In other words, if something is contradictory, no deontic system can require that it is obligatory. When we use this in proofs, I'm going to refer to this as OMA, the omissibility axiom. Up next, you're going to have a little bit of a challenge. We're going to get back to some proofs like we did in the 100 Days of Logic so that you're actually able to practice some of the skills you're learning in this series with the Deontic Non-Contradiction Challenge. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org. Stay tuned all the rest of this month for more on deontic logic. Next month we're going to be doing temporal logic, and the month after that we're going to touch on doxastic logic. Stay skeptical, everybody.